Yeah, it's recorded. Okay, recording now. So broadcast. Yes, please. Okay. Yes, luck. Thank you. Uh, right. So we need to just check if we have some participants. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> I should do. Yes, Rebecca and Scott. And oh, great. And oh, Alex. Great. Alex has joined in from Kuala Lumpur. That's super. Um, I'll have a chat with you later, Alex. Maybe <laughs> a bit of luck. I hope you're going to hear me. Can can somebody please look? I'll tell you what we do, do guys. This is how it works. You you'll find that there's um uh, a chat box. If you can find the chat box, can you? And just let me know whether you can hear me. Logically, yes. Okay, good. Well, if Alex can hear me all the way from Malaysia, then I guess everyone else can. Hopefully, good. All right, guys. Thank you very much for joining. Um, we never know how many people are going to turn up. Sometimes it's lots. Sometimes. Not so many, sometimes people come in halfway through. Um, so we'll just, um, we'll carry on, I think, right away. I'm sure you're busy. It's probably lunchtime, so stomach's rumbling and things like that. So um, I'll get going with this. And if you like, if you could just uh, keep yourself muted and put any questions that you have for me into the chat box, that would be the ideal thing, or else the Q&A thing, and I'll answer them at the end, all right? And we have somebody, I've got somebody with me today, Paul Juggins, who's, who's actually part of the team. And he, um, I'll explain what, what he does as we go through this. So I want to keep this uh, moving so that we don't take up too much time. I'm not going to spend, um, go into a lot of depth about the courses because uh, a lot of that detail is on the website, of course, um, and which you probably had a look at. So just, um, well, I'm just going to go over the basics here and then, um, you know, over to you basically to, to ask questions. So um, as we go through, you'll see stuff on the screen. I'm not going to read through everything. You can you can read through that yourself, and um, and I'll just try, uh, cover the basics, the most important stuff. So the Irish Institute of Nutrition and Health, which I'm the founder and director, it was formed in 2002, so about 18 years ago now, and um, really, it, it's a sort of outcome of a lifetime of my work as a a nutrition educator and, and clinician. So I trained in nutrition at London University back in the 60s and 70s. And then I went off to do um, to do more research uh, and sort of pursue a, um, an academic career path at, at Helsinki University in Finland. And then uh, I got gradually disillusioned after a few years. I found it very isolating to, to, in that kind of setting. So I wanted to go out and work with people and uh, um, really Essentially, that's what I did. I'm really glad I did. I spent the rest of my life now educating people and also doing one-to-one -one work, just developing my skills in that area. And um, of course, it's things have moved in that direction now. We we know that that the, the future of medicine and of nutrition really is, is a personalised approach. So um, I kind of got a bit of a head start there, which was useful um, when I'm training. So I set the the nutrition institute, the Irish Institute of Nutrition and Health up to really to pass on this stuff to other people and to get them also to, to be able to do what I'm doing. Um, and really that's, that's what I've been mostly doing over the years. And we have two main programs, which I'll talk about uh, in a minute. And, the, the, and one of them in particular called the, the Nutrition and Health Coaching Program. So, um, so we've been in this game since 2002, it's quite a long time. And um, we've got graduates from all over the world now. And we also, uh, importantly, I think I think it's important. We have globally recognised qualifications in this in this area. So we we pro have properly um, assessed and um, and recognised courses, um, both in the public and private sector, with proper uh, qualifications, as I'll as I'll explain. So the the learning at the moment is fully online, um, but it's very interactive. Uh, that's one of our USPs is that we're we're very good with um, with uh, feedback and, and interaction with our, with our learners. Um, and at the moment, as I said, it's online only because of the, the, the COVID thing. Um, but it, hopefully this, this year at some point, fingers crossed, we'll get back to some blended learning as well for people that live in Ireland to come and join us occasionally. Um, now, 
the, the course that I'm going to talk about mostly is at the moment is the nutrition and health coaching program. And there's two reasons for that. One is it's our most popular program. And secondly, it's, it's the entry point also to our nutritional therapy program, uh, which uh, we also teach uh, nutritional therapy. It's a higher level course. But um, unlike most colleges, we have a slightly different setup. So we, if, if people want to become nutritional therapists with us, they, they have to become a, a coach first. They have to go through the coaching program first. Um, so, and then after that, they could go on for another two and a half years to complete the nutritional therapy program. So um, the, one of the strengths I think of our um, coaching program is that we do real case studies um, as part of the assessment. So there's no final exam in this case, we, we're using BTEX as the qualification. And in BTEX, you don't have um, exams, basically. You, you are assessed by a number of assignments, and those assignments are practical and related to the work that you'll be doing once you've qualified. So case studies is, of course, the core of, of, of our work, really, where one-to-one -one work, being able to sit down with somebody and, and go into their unique circumstances and conditions and problems and goals uh, in an in-depth way, structured way, and then help to help them. So we build that into the process of learning uh, the, the whole spectrum of, of um, elements of, of this course, so that by the end of the course, you come out with hands-on experience, and you've had the support and the safety of knowing that that was done within that uh, the framework of the course. So that is, for many people, will we'll tell you who do the course, that that is the most powerful part of the course, because, of course, as you probably know, if you're um, learning something new, and uh, the best way to really is to get out of is to get out of your comfort zone a little bit and uh, and do some hands-on stuff. And of course, while you're doing that, you get um, a lot of uh, help and and support, and not only from me, but also from a mentor that you have while you're doing the case studies, and uh, various other ways as well. So, I'm going to be your tut uh, your tutor uh, during the course, the main tutor, not the only one. Um, probably about 70% of the, of the course is taught by myself and most of the tutorials uh, I will be giving, the weekly tutorials, which I'll explain in a minute. Um, fortunately, um, we have our own cooking school and uh, if we can get back to that, that would be wonderful uh, to, to, to have some live demo um, classes as well this year. But if not, then we've also got it set up so that you'll get uh, a live um, online uh, cooking demonstration class twice, two actually during the year, one in the autumn and one, one in, um, in the springtime. Um, we were the, the first college in Europe to train nutritional nutrition and health coaches. So we've had this uh, particular course going for 10 years now. And, and it's just now really that, that coaching is, is starting to really take off in, in Europe. You probably know that health coaching. Um, so we are, uh, we, we have probably as well, certainly as much experience as anyone else does in Europe of, of teaching this stuff. And we have students and graduates, of course, from across the world. Oh, okay, I'll move that forward. Um, and of course, um, we're, as I said just now, we're hoping that, um, that we can offer some, some attendance. Um, we, we have to wait and see whether that's possible. We have a place, a very good, um, a very good um, setup for, for, for uh, training uh, in in face-to-face um, -face, face -face stuff. So we'll move forward now. Um, the, the two programs I mentioned, so nutrition and health coaching and nutritional therapy are two main programs. We also teach some short courses as well. But the one I'm gonna focus on today is the nutrition and health coaching. As I said, partly because even if you wanted or intended to study nutritional therapy with us, you still have to do the coaching first because that's the first part, first element of that, of that program. Um, and uh, the, the, the main awarding bodies for the, the coaching program are Pearson and the, the actual qualifications are BTEC. And for those people who live in Ireland, uh, you'll be familiar with the QQI, which is the, the official body for further education. And we are a provider for their courses. And we have a course in nutrition and health, a level six course, which I'll mention as we go through. So what does a nutrition and health coach do? Well, uh, the work of, of a of a, of a health coach these days is, is expanding rapidly. 
um, there's recognition um, developing very quickly now around the world. Um, it's driven largely by demand and, um, and movements and, and developments in the States. And, but it's spreading elsewhere. At the moment, it, um, it's claimed that the business itself, um, health coaching is worth about 9 billion a year. And, it's, and that's gone up very fast in the last couple of years. Uh, it's now spreading to other parts of the world, particularly to Europe. Um, which is why you find uh, quite a few of the providers out there at the moment are American providers. So there are not so many at the moment from Europe, mm. but it's, it's changing very rapidly. So what essentially what a coach does is to work with anyone who's got health related goals in their life. They want to improve things. They want to improve their health. They want to improve their children's health. Um, they're worried about perhaps the future and uh, the, of not going down the same sort of pathway of ill health, perhaps as their parents or their grandparents or whatever. Um, and they, they recognize that, that, that it's important that they take some responsibility, active responsibility for their health, rather than just sort of outsourcing it to the doctor. Um, so th this is a, a gradual sort of dawning recognition now. It's the, the pennies dropping around the world that people need to look after their health, particularly, of course, um, during this COVID time, people are realizing that it's the sick the people with existing uh, health conditions that are the most vulnerable and that um, people who are otherwise okay they're generally fine um, so it's 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 a, it's a tremendous sort of boost to uh, the the recognition of the importance of, of, of good health and, and looking after one's one's health generally diet and lifestyle so this means that of course there's there's job opportunities and and, and places to go with this qualification virtually everywhere because I mean everyone eats and so whether or not you you have any intention of changing your career or becoming a health coach or or just you know bringing this knowledge that you gain on the course into your workspace and, and using it as many people do then it doesn't really make any difference I mean you'll do, be doing something useful anyway but anyway there are huge job opportunities uh, part-time and full-time in, in the coaching space um, here's just some of them here you can see on the page. So we have of our graduates working in, in all of these different sectors and, and settings. And, um, you know, there, there's, there's just a, a great deal of growth and, and um, willingness to engage with coaches um, around all this. I mean, the old, the, the old notion of, of just sort of setting up as, a, as, a, as an expert, so-called expert in in, in diet or in nutrition is beginning to wear a bit thin now because people find that uh, it's not just about, you know, being told what they should eat. It's, it's, it's having support and motivation and, and adjustments made and encouragement going on as well at the same time. And, and so where, where some people can sort of get all this stuff very quickly and make changes uh, quite quickly to their diet and lifestyle. For other people, it's, it's more of a complicated task and it takes longer to do as well. So um, we've, as I said, we've a lot of our graduates go into these different career paths on different levels, some part-time, some full-time. Some people have their own practice as well. So I'm going to talk a few minutes now, just a couple of minutes about choosing courses. You're, you're almost certainly thinking about doing a course like this and you might have um, looked at other courses too and that's what you should be doing. And the reason I'm putting this slide up here is because um, so many people that I've come across over the years, many years, um, many occasions have, have been very frustrated because they've, they've made the mistake of assuming that they're going to get a certain type of training from a nutrition course. They've assumed that uh, they'll be taught how to in interact with people and to help them. And, but it may not be that kind of course at all. So you need to be asking the right questions about what the, the curriculum is, what, what's, what you're being taught, what skills you're going to be learning. And, uh, and of course, about the, the density, the length of the course and how much detail there is in it as well. So this is essentially all about helping you to, to make those choices. So the first thing I would say is, is, is to ask is you need to get clear about what, what do you want to do with your, with your qualification, your knowledge and your skills? What does the, does the course, will the course give you what you need to succeed, including, of course, the qualification itself? So you need to know what you, what you want to do. So, and, and it could be that this course isn't, isn't right for you. I mean, if you want to study, um, you want a degree in dietetics, for example, or you want to work in uh, as a food scientist, 
then uh, this this is that that's your direction then this is may not be the ideal thing but if you want to work with people and learn how to do that and 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 help them then this might be something that's that's for you so what is the nutrition course offering in, in terms of content depth uh, assessments um, and interactions and support and stuff like that qualification itself of course how how recognized is it in the public sector the private sector in different countries and is there a learning path and so all of these things uh, you need to think about um, because um, some of these courses are expensive and they can take up a lot of your time especially if you're busy with other things as well so um, we need to have a look at, uh, at what what we what we have to offer for you in terms of credit accreditation and stuff like that so the basic course that we teach is um, it's a it's um, a BTEC course. Um, BTECs, as you may know, are very well recognised courses um, provided programmes provided by Pearson. Now Pearson is the world's largest provider of, of education courses and accreditations um, and awards, and uh, one of their suite of of, um, of um, programs is called BTEX and they've been around for about 40 years and they're very well recognized around the world right from sort of South America to China and many countries in between so um, the, the recognitions there it, it, so, so they're um, they're um, a good a good opening really um, in terms of, of gain, gaining some uh, qualification in nutrition um, so the course that we have is, is, a, is we actually I wrote it for BTEX um, about 10 years ago now and it's called um, a, um, a Advanced Diploma in Nutrition and Health Coaching, Advanced Diploma Nutrition and Health Coaching and it's um, approved uh, in the UK and uh, as I said recognized around the world including in Ireland. So um, the, the course itself, the, the program is, uh, the BTEC program is rated at 400 learning hours that's rated by the by the uh, by btech itself um, and it's a level three in the uk which is the same level as as a levels advanced levels uh, that you use to get into university so level three in the uk is is the same level as roughly as level five in in um, in in ireland um, and uh, so 400 learning hours in level three and uh, it takes about eight months to complete this course. So you begin in September and you finish around end of April, beginning of May, that kind of time, maybe into late May as well. So um, just some highlights of the course itself and how it's taught. It's a flipped classroom approach. So what that means is that instead of being taught fresh material by myself or someone else, you know, um, firsthand um, at the, on the tutorials, or in the classroom, you are given, everyone is sent or given the material to study, the study materials in advance. So it's put out online uh, and you access it through your desktop um, and, and uh, your, your platform, the online platform that we use, which is called Moodle. And that's one which is used by a lot of universities around the world. So you um, log in and find your material. And it's of course, it's written material documents and notes and things and um, videos and podcasts recordings all kinds of things and lots of links to different other resources as well so every about every three weeks during the course from when the course begins in september about every three weeks you get new material released and then um, you're asked to review that and look at it over the over the following few weeks and then you, and every week you have a tutorial. So I come on and do a tutorial with you um, on Wednesday or Thursday evening between 7 and 9 p.m. And, and the tutorial then will go through some of the material to make sure that it's been fully understood. Yeah, there's plenty of opportunities to ask questions and have discussions about things. And even disagreements as well, that's fine too. Um, so that, that happens every week. So there's, a, there's plenty of opportunity throughout the course to um, to ask questions, to engage, to, to go through things that are unclear, to add things in as well, and to discuss other topics that aren't necessarily in the actual curriculum itself. So it's very, it's very much a sort of open-ended thing. 
and we have people uh, learners from all kinds of backgrounds with different sort of ideologies around eating of course that's an important thing that you need to ask of anyone who's teaching courses as well so ours is a science-based course um, we we use all the latest up-to-date um, evidence and science out there and there's a big change is going on at the moment so this is a tr tremendously exciting time in nutrition i've been in it for over 40 years and it's never never been uh, um, changing as, as quickly as it is now so it's very exciting and we keep up to date and the, all the notes and all the curriculum is is is, um, is reviewed at least twice a year so as and i'll explain what the units of the course in a minute but the, the workload is roughly six to eight hours a week on average through the course so it's you know it's doable um just need to be a little bit organized um and it, of course it will fluctuate a little bit um the hours that you need to put into it but as you know of course yourself i mean the more you put into something the more you get out of it as well um so we also have for support we have a, a platform on the moodle for as a forum so interactive forum people talking to each other talking to me talking to maria who, who is your sort of the person in the background who looks after all your work and and reminds you of things so the assessments work like this i mentioned mentioned i said there's no interview there's no um exams but you are assessed you are assessed by assignments so there's a number of assignments that you're given throughout the course and they're, they're, most of them are fairly practical and the biggest ones by far are the case studies so you towards halfway about halfway through the course you start working with four clients so these, these are four volunteer clients who want to work with you they've asked for your help you've told them that you're studying this course and that you are looking for case studies and um, and they want to uh, to help uh, well they want they want help themselves they're not doing it to help you they're doing it to help themselves so you need genuine volunteers and this is where of course um, you have to focus a lot um, and you might find yourself a little bit out of your depth at first but the point is that I'm there to support you throughout that process and you've got the, some of the other supports as well and this is a highly structured process these case studies are done four of them over a period of about three months three and a half months and um, essentially what you have to do is to is to interview somebody in depth about their goals and about their background and what's going on in their lives in general and then work out with them the best way to help them so formulate a plan that you both agree together and then you support them through that and make adjustments as necessary you follow them up uh, a couple of times and then you write up your report and, and submit that and so the assessments work like this they're, they're not graded essentially what happens is that in BTEX you have to satisfy a number of learning outcomes quite a few actually um, dozens of learning outcomes and so you send in your uh, assignments including your case studies uh, to Maria and then that gets she will mark some of them and, and and there are other markers as well and essentially what happens is that the the assessments or the your assignment is assessed so that you to, to make sure you've achieved all the learning outcomes which is set out and if you achieve them then you've passed that particular part of the course that, uh, that uh, assessment um, and if you haven't if you don't complete it or if you've done it wrong or you've made a mistake or something then uh, Maria will send it back to you and you just and tell you what what you need to do and then you just you know do the extra bit or correct something and send it back in and then then you're, you've, you've got through that part of the course so nobody fails you don't fail the course you just you just do it basically do all your assignments until you've completed them and at the end of the course then you get your certification <coughs> Um, so there's no exam. Um, if, if you're in Ireland and uh, you wish to do the QQI award, which is useful, quite a useful award, and it's very well recognized, obviously. So that's a good thing to do. And it's actually a level six award. So the BTEC's a level five equivalent, whereas the BTEC's, uh, the QQI is a level six award. And the reason for that is not that it's a, it's a different course or there's extra material. It's that the QQI award or QQI program has to end with the a formal exam so you have to you have to do a, a written exam and of course that's out of the, the question at the moment with covid but um but it'll you know within some months i'm sure we'll be able to uh, bring people in and and they can do their exams but of course that this wouldn't apply for, for you until september um, until um may anyway may or june it would that we'd be talking about for that but uh, so it's a two-hour written exam uh, for the qqi but that lifts it up to um, a level six because 
because exams, written exams, are considered to be a higher level of, of, of assessment um, than practical um, assignments. And then once you've done the course, once you've completed the course, then you are then um, eligible to join the new, rather new professional body for um, health coaching in the, the UK and Ireland. Um, it's called the UK Health Coaches Association. And they're a great uh, bunch of people and they're very, very enthusiastic and uh, very, um, and very um, uh, keen to, to um, and enthusiastic about the future of, of, of health coaching. So um, things are moving forward very quickly and the recognition is there and um, we're beginning to see um, corporates, companies, co they're contacting us and asking about coaches uh, for, for various uh, you know, programs or, or initiatives that they want to do. Um, so the units of the coaching course, uh, there's seven of them in the BTEC. Um, so there's uh, nutrition basics and, and digestion. It's obviously important to get some, some, some sound, um, reliable information that isn't controversial uh, in nutrition uh, under your belt before you get going. And there is, I mean, nutritional science is, is quite flaky in general, but um, there are some important things which are agreed and, and um, understood uh, by everyone. And so you need to get these clear in your head. So there's quite a lot of that stuff in the beginning of the course. And there's a, a quite a detailed look at the digestive system and the problems that go on with that, because that's, that's pretty important, obviously. Probably about 80% of people that you work with would have some kind of digestive problem. And so you, you kind of need to know how the digestion works, uh, basically, you know, and, and the important elements of it and um, behaviors around eating that are important in helping to, to resolve digestive problems. Uh, the next thing that we go on to, this is how the course pro progresses really. So this, this first, unit is, is rather a big one, it lasts a couple of months. And then we go on to farm to fork, uh, which is, I guess, self-explanatory. So we really need to understand what's happening with our food, how it's changed so remarkably in the last 50, 60 years, the way we produce food and, and what we do to it as well. So that all the impacts right from soil, right through to, to refining and processing and, and residues and pollutants in, in foods and things like this. So all of this needs to be looked at. Um, and understood it's not you can't just study nutrition uh, in a box you know you have to you have to look at the wider picture of it as well um and the the i suppose one of the, the most important skills that is attached to to that uh, unit would be reading labels or decoding food labels because <clears throat> it's you know food manufacturers food the big the big boys in in the world of food they're they're really good at at telling us a story about food so ten people tend to pick up products and look at them and think oh that looks really interesting and it's got all these wonderful things happening to it free from and this that and the other on it and good for this and fortified with this and all these things and and very often people are then you know sold on on the, on the optics of, of the or the first impression that they get of, of the product without actually looking at the at the ingredients and seeing what's in it so we, we spend some quite some time looking at ingredients um, and understanding them and also looking at the nutrition data to try and work out what that what that's all about as well so it's important it's that's a useful part of the course one of the misconceptions out there that I keep hearing is that is that you you have to that, that if you're if you don't have much money, if you're poor, you, you can't eat healthily. And that's simply not true. Um, we, we know that, that, um, that poverty or, or not having in, enough money is, affects what one eats and because you, that's reflected quite clearly in things like overweight and obesity statistics and things like that. But that's due to lack of knowledge, uh, really, because supermarkets are actually full of, of, of foods which are quite good. Um, some of them very good and not at all necessarily expensive so there are this is about educating people and your job if you decide to train as a coach your job with people is largely about education uh, it's about teaching people stuff um, one of the first and most universal um, reactions that people have when they start working with their clients with their case study clients during the course they come back and they say these people don't know anything <laughs> Um, and it could, of course, it can be very, um, it can be a bit sort of scary at first when you're working um, 
you know, with people and you think, oh God, I, I don't know enough to be able to do this work. Um, I've only just started doing this course. But you'll find that, that even after a few months, you know so much more than, than the average person about what what's goes into the food and what it's all about, you know, and explaining things. So it's, it's powerful stuff, this, and it's very, very important. It's, this should be taught in schools, but it's not. And until it is, then we'll, we will need courses like this. So after Farm to Fork, then we move on to functional coaching skills. This is the, the, um, the, the counseling, the coaching skills, um, the NLP and all that sort of stuff. This is about learning to how do you work with people in practice? Because very often, actually, they're trying to work out with people a better, you know, a better diet, a better way of eating is, is actually the easy part. It's actually getting them to do it, uh, which is far more tricky. And so you, you really need to develop certain skills, of particularly around listening and um and and you know and rapport to, to keep people on board and, and to keep motivating them these are very important parts of the course because uh, it's absolutely not all about food uh, by any means uh, getting people healthy and there are other parts uh, and, and other aspects of lifestyle which come into come into play as well now nutrition in health and disease um this is where it starts to get really sort of interesting because we start to look at, at all of the uh, the real problematic areas of health these days in the Western world, particularly, but spreading around the world in general. Um, um, you know, it's rather exceptional at the moment that we have a problem with an infection, infectious disease, uh, because the, actually when that's gone, and it will be gone after some months, of course, we'll be left with the stuff that we had all along, which was all the, the um, chronic disease, chronic ill health, particularly, you know, the inflammatory diseases, the overweight, obesity, diabetes, heart disease, and things like that, and, and the, the rising, rising incidences of, of autoimmune disorders and stuff like this. So all of this is related to, to diet because it's, meta, it's metabolic illness. Um, so it has to be related to diet. So it's, it's, this is very important that we, that we drill down into these things and try and understand things like metabolic syndrome, insulin resistance, um, the importance of, of in, for most people, many people anyway, of, of avoiding too much carbs in the diet um, you know and so it's 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 getting a handle on on this stuff and then because when you work with people when you're actually sitting in front of somebody that that person's unique their own story is unique where they are in their life and where they where their health has come from and how it's been damaged or or not is unique to them and you, you have to start with that you have to start with where they are um, there's no standardized approaches to these things um, this is about the, the personal personalization approach, the tailored approach to things. Um, so we look all of, we look at food intolerances because that's such a you know fast developing problem area, and um, we look at detoxification and, and the problems with all the you know the um, toxins out there in 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 around us and and how to how to keep ourselves healthy as much as possible. There's a powerful part of that unit is called life stages where we look at the particular particularly important issues around nutrition and health at different life stages right through from from pre-pregnancy pre-pregnancy right through to old age and then we look at some of the um, conditions of old age which we now know um, are not nearly as fixed and as as inevitable as as we thought um, Probably you're aware of, of how diabetes is being reversed in many cases, but that you couldn't have said that 15 years ago, but it's happening now. And we're, we're beginning to find that we can make these, um, we, can, we, can, we can bring people into to at least partial remission from uh, you know, even years and years of, of ill health um, by changing the diet and, and other aspects of lifestyle. So this is very important to know this. Um, nutrition, exercise and sport. So, um, this is sports performance and the importance of exercise in general. So a lot of people come on the course because they, they're personal trainers, for example. The personal trainers are good for us because can, they kind of know already that they have to personalize things because they do that for their clients all the time and around, around exercise. But um, if, they, if you can personalize the nutrition as well um, with somebody you're working with like that, then they, you get fantastic results. Um, it makes such a difference to, to have the two going at the same time not just one um, so and then of course we, we've got to get across to people the absolute vital importance of movement uh, we don't we simply these days as a, as a species we don't move enough 
and and we just got to keep people get people moving the, the human body is designed to move it loves movement and we've got to encourage people to to exercise and move um then the nutrition lifestyle coaching that is in fact the the um case studies so that's putting it all into practice really during that, that part of the course second part of the course and then towards the end um we do the last BTEC unit is called setting up to practice and delivering presentations. So delivering presentations is for people who uh, know that they would or would wish to, to, to give talks or classes, courses to people, but they may not have any, any um, practice, uh, any experience of, of giving talks or presentations. And that can, so that can be a bit intimidating at first. So you have to do a, a, a short 15 minute presentation using this tool, this Zoom tool uh, to us. Um, from home, from your home to us um, in the office. Um, and so you, you, you deliver your presentation and that's, that gets assessed. So this will be a presentation on some health topic that you choose. Um, and then we, we get to do that. And that's a very powerful um, experience for a lot of people who haven't done that before. It's very useful. Because of course, you know, if, you, if you're gonna do this work and get out there and be a coach and, and you start telling people that you're that you that's what you do so it won't be long before someone asks you to come and give a talk to them um so you know it's useful to to have this experience under your belt already setting up the practice we'll talk about a bit more in a minute but this is a, obviously a very important part of this is is figuring out a whether you want to do this and, and how you want to do it but you've got to just do it informally within the context of your own life and your own current occupation or are you going to actually set up and formally uh, as a as a nutrition and health coach if so you need to know some stuff and also of course how to promote your business so um so we'll be talking about that in a few minutes as well now the cooking is not part of the btech you'll be relieved to know this is not like bake off or anything like that um you don't have to to produce anything but you just you but you if you wish you can turn up to cooking classes if we have them um by the time the course is, is over or getting towards the end of it we hope that we'll be up and running again in our cooking cooking school, which we have. Um, and if not, then you'll be getting two um, two sessions of cooking, two live sessions online as well, uh, which is not quite the same thing, but it's um, still uh, still um, something anyway. And it works quite well. We've we've done a few of those already. So the cooking we have a, a this is our cooking school from the outside, and and this is. Maggie, my wife, who's a wonderful chef and a very good teacher of cooking. And um, this is what it looks inside. So that we built this on the back of our house and this is our demonstration kitchen. Normally, this is before, before COVID, <laughs> obviously. Um, so we'll have to wait, I think, and, until, we, until social distancing is over before we can bring people back in. But this is where we would do the live um, online stuff from as well. Um, yeah, so yeah. Um, now, nutritional therapy um, is something that it, it's something that, that people can go on to afterwards. If you want to do nutritional therapy, you have to do the coaching first, as I said. And um, the, the, the basic reason for that is that we know from years of decades of practice that even if you're doing you know, complicated, more complex work with more complex uh, um, health issues, you still need to be good at coaching because your clients still need to know the basic stuff and understand it. So that's why we do it like this. So all of our nutritional therapists all are coaches as well. So you can go on to do two and a half years more. I'm not going to explain this now because it's, that's not relevant because at this stage, because you're coming in as, as, as coaching to do a coaching course. But you can find out much more detail uh, from the um, from the website about what what happens and how we do it. So there's progression opportunities. Um, so quite a few of our grads have gone on to do um, mostly masters programs in various places around the world. And a few years ago, we set up um, a special arrangement with a college, a sort of sister college, if you like, in England, um, w w that focuses has always focused on sort of the high end high level um, training programs, BSc and MSc, whereas we've, we're a more sort of grassroots level practical stuff. So we fit nicely together like that. So, so we've set up this, this system here. You can see that on screen, I think. 
where you go from the, you complete the first year, then you go and do the nutritional therapy program. That's, that's that one there. Um, and then that takes altogether three and a half years to do those two. And then from there, you've got two options. You can go to this, this um, um, college in the UK that I mentioned. It's called CNELM, the College of Nutrition, Education and Lifestyle Management near London. Um, but all their courses are online as well. So you have two options. You can go and do a, a BSc or, or a master's once you've completed the NT program. Now, the interesting thing, particularly about the, the BSc honours, is that the, the, the college has, has mapped their BSc program against our um, NT program, nutritional therapy program, and give us 100% credit towards the BSc, which means in practice that if, once you've finished our nutritional therapy program, you've completed effectively almost half of this program, around 45% of the BSc, which is great, of course, because it means you just have to do the remaining units and pretty much half the time and for half the price. And you can do it, as I said, completely online. So, and you get a very good degree from that. This is, if, if I had to choose to do a BSc again in nutrition, this is the one I would choose because it's up to date and it's very wide ranging and, um, and very dynamic and, and interesting uh, um, program. So you can check them out, um, CNA ELM if you want and find out more about their programs and what they contain. <clears throat> the other option is, um, is to go into a master's. And again, quite a few of our guys have done this. And this, the master's is a bit, it's a different pathway. It's more for people who want to focus on and develop and deepen their one-to-one their -one work um, it, you know, with clients. So that's more for that kind of personalized, it's, it's called a master's in personalized nutrition. Whereas the BSc is more sort of wide ranging over the whole world of, 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 of food and nutrition as well. So that gives you an idea about that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, hand over just, just for a few moments to, to Paul. Um, Paul works with us. So Paul, if you can, um, can you yeah, un un here. unmute yourself there? Can everyone still hear me? Hello everyone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so that, that should be all right. So I think, um, yeah. So I'll just pass over to Paul. Paul is, um, we'll, we'll tell you what he does and then I, you can come back to me after that. Okay, off you go, Paul. Thanks, Richard. Hey everyone, how's it going? It's lovely to see you all. Um, yeah, so my name is Paul Juggins. I'm uh, an entrepreneur and now health coach turned uh, business mentor for up and coming coaches as well. So I'm a graduate of the IINH. I graduated um, in 2018. And since then, I've been running my own business as a, as a health coach. And over the last sort of year and a half, uh, my career has really escalated in, in a great way. And I'm at a point now where I'm creating an extra part of my business where I come to help um, new coaches actually create their online business. So I'm a guest lecturer at the IINH, and if you sign on the course, we will meet in this time, probably next year, of around the, the online setup. So the setting up to practice at this point, um, I present a, a lecture, give you the very uh, fundamental elements of creating your own business. So if you're really excited about becoming a full-time coach and having your own um, business, uh, turn this into a career, um, it's very important to just get really clear on some of the fundamental things that you need around like basic business and marketing strategy so that you can feel really confident and supported when you move on to that next step when you graduate from the IINH. Um, so what we've been working on is thinking about, you know, is there a, an additional platform that we can create to, to support students further? And something I've created is called the Health Coach Business Academy, which is one of my uh, big projects at the moment and again this is where I mentor uh, health coaches um, through the profitable health coach method which is a, a business accelerator giving you a very clear um, path so you feel confident supported and very clear in getting your your business up and running um, so obviously we want, we want to see as many of you out there coaching if that is your path and um, we want to have as many coaches out there and one of the things that we're very um, very very inspired to to give you at the INH is this support in terms of like okay 
how do I turn my uh, my new qualification into a business? Um, so it's important that you have that roadmap feel like, you know, in terms of next steps, if you are happy to go out and coach rather than move into the NT program, then, you know, you will have obviously this lecture with me giving you, um, you know, a good solid foundation to move forward. And then you also have, also have the opportunity then to, to um, join the academy and you know, get higher level support. Um, so yeah, like as Richard said, like now is like the greatest time you could choose to become a health coach. Like the, the industry, even since I've been coaching, has just taken off so, so much. It's like, you know, one of the biggest health uh, industry trends, um, projected trends for the, the coming, for the next few years as well. Um, like Richard said, it's, it's been huge in the States for a long time. And in Europe now, you're going to start seeing lots of more job opportunities coming up. And especially in the online space, like this is something that I teach and I'm really passionate about helping new coaches with is, you know, getting your business online because obviously now you have the freedom to work from anywhere. You have, you know, the world is your audience. So you're not, um, you know, restricted to your locality. So it's very important that you get up to date um, future proof business and marketing strategy. So like the old business model of, you know, setting up a practice in an office in town and, the success of your business is kind of, you know, dependent on, on who is in your locality. You know, that business model doesn't exist anymore for us as coaches. So you can create a really, you know, incredibly lucrative and sustainable online business as a coach. Um, so one of the things that me and Richard and the rest of the team are really passionate about is giving you a the, the sort of insight and the foundation on how to do that. And then obviously offering you continued support. Um, so it's very important that you have, that you feel confident that there's something there to help you start, grow, and then begin to scale your, your online business. If, if you are, you know, excited about, you know, maybe sw uh, switching careers and being coming like a full-time coach um, or, you know, whatever path you see for yourself, um, getting that high level um, mentorship and uh, information is a, a big part of what we're all about at the INAH. Um, so yeah, if anyone has any uh, questions around like setting up the practice business, you can obviously put them in the, the chat there and, and me and Richard can uh, give you a little bit more support about it. Um, but yeah, it's about giving you the, the confidence to go out and do it um, because you'll all be incredible coaches and like I can vouch for how incredible the course is, how great the team are and how much they supported me on my journey afterwards as well. Um, so it's just that missing piece in terms of like your mindset, your business and marketing strategy. And that's something that we're, again, you know, really going to create this very supportive platform for you should you wish to go on and become a health coach. Um, yeah, so it's, it's kind of giving you the, the accelerator, the start and kind of highlighting all the things not to do this the stuff like the mistakes you know what i mean so like i made a lot of mistakes when i first started and so the idea is to to kind of make sure you don't make those give you the the fundamental ways of building a business you know identifying your market you know understanding who you're going to coach and how to create your your coaching offer to actually sell so this is a, a big part of what we'll deliver in terms of giving you um the basics towards that and then like i say uh, should you need more support, we we will you know offer a partnership around the 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 coaching academy. So that is um, a kind of a, a, an insight into around like what you can expect in terms of the support in in um, getting your business off the ground at the other NH. Thanks, Paul. That's great. Thanks, Richard. Um, I'll just finish off, then then we can um, answer any questions that we have. Yeah, so there's just a couple more slides. So there's the the cost, the course fees. Um, uh, 3,100 for, for the online only and um, if we have blended learning we'd, we're not op offering that at the moment because we, we don't think we can we can offer that just now but um, that's what it is normally and this is the, the 3,100 is is if um, the the fees are paid up front so there are also payment plans uh, optional uh, available as well if you wish so um, you should have questions um, for something like this is important um, call to make, obviously. Um, whether this is right for you, if you want to talk to me or to someone else about the course, so everyone you talk to knows about the course a lot, 
And um, if you want to speak to me about whether it's the right thing for you, for example, then I'm more than happy to do that. In the old days, when the when the, the, the institute was smaller and the, the classes were smaller, I used to talk to everyone first, but I think it's, it's a bit much now for, to do that. But if you want to talk to me, I'm more than happy to, to chat to you first as well. So um, yeah, so any questions then? So what I'll do is um, just to um, check out and see what we've got in the way of questions here. Um, okay, so <laughs> um, this is for you. Paul, uh, can you explain more on the online platform that you were talking about? Okay. Hey, Alex. Yeah, thanks for your question. Um, so this is something that is part of my business called the Health Coach Business Academy. And this is something that we're going to be running in partnership. Um, we're, we're discussing this now with the IINH. Um, so yeah, it's, it's going to be its own um, separate identity where after you graduate from the IINH, if you are looking for a very high level support and you want an extra, you know, more training around mindset, business, marketing, and the step-by-step -step process that kind of goes into creating a sustainable online business, um, this is going to be something that you'll definitely want to check out. Um, I hope that's answered your question. If you have anything else around that, please let us know. Yeah. So anyone else have, a, have any questions there about for Rebecca or Scott? Do you have any anything you'd like to ask us now? Okay. That's okay too. <laughs> so, so can I just come in there quickly? If uh, if anybody uh, suddenly thinks of a question after the webinar, we'll follow up either way. We'll follow up with an email and just feel free to uh, drop us a line or um you let, let us know if you want to organize uh, a chat with uh, with richard and we'll follow up with you sure yeah that's great so we're just um just rebecca and scott today that's fine thank you very much guys for joining us um i hope we didn't put you to sleep um well there's a i think that's all clear okay thanks scott <laughs> that's very good um yeah, so that's fine. That's, that's great. Thanks for that feedback. And um, like you said, Anita just said, if you want any more information, that's we're easy to, to talk to, easy to find, and um, and we'll we'll chat to you and find out if it's the right thing for you. Okay. So thank you very much indeed, both of you, and um, and thanks Paul for, for coming on as well today. Um, thanks, Richard. Oh, from Rebecca. Oh, thanks, thanks Rebecca. That's nice to get that feedback too. Very good. So um, yeah, so you know a bit about us now anyway. So if, if you do the course, then you're, you're, you're getting a lot of me in front of you <laughs> um, on the screen and some of Paul and a, a, few, a number of other people as well. So thanks very much and look forward to, hope if you want to join the course, um, um, it starts fairly soon now. So, um, so we'll be getting going next month and uh, it's, it's great fun. Um, and you probably meet some, make, make some friends as well on the course too, most people do. So thanks very much and, um, and hope to um, see you at, at, at some point and in the future, whether now or perhaps next year or whenever it suits you. Um, but in the meantime, just look after yourselves and, uh, and um, we'll see you soon, hopefully. Thanks a lot. Bye now.